Hello. Here we go. So we have even and odd trigonometric functions. And what I want to talk about before we get into that is exactly what even and odd functions are just in general. So kind of the two most famous functions that we use when describing even and odd functions are x squared and x cubed. So x squared has a graph that looks like that. And x cubed has a graph that's going to look something like that. Okay. So the definition graphically of functions that are even are functions that have, are symmetrical about your y-axis. So whatever your graph is, if it's symmetrical about the y-axis, it's said to be even. That means you can reflect your graph about that y-axis. Now, graphs that are odd are said to be reflexive about the origin. Meaning, if you reflect it over the x-axis and then reflect over the y-axis, you're going to get the same graph. So what you'll notice for both of these, for both these graphs, x squared is even, and uh, f of x, x cubed is odd. Now, let's take a look at the algebraic way for this, because when we get into the trigonometric functions, we haven't talked about graphing yet, so I'm not going to actually get into the graphs. But the main important thing is to prove that when a trigonometric function is even, if I take f of negative x, so that means if I plug in negative x into my function and I get back out x squared, that means my function is even. So if I plug in my negative, um, my negative x into my function and I get back, or negative 1 in for my function, and I get back x squared, therefore I have an even function. However, if I take in f of negative x and I get the opposite of f of x, so if I plug in a negative x as my value and I get the opposite of my function, therefore my function is odd. So when talking about trigonometric functions, we have two functions that are what we say even. And that is the cosine and the secant. So why is this so important? Well, this is so important because you need to understand if I say the cosine of a negative value, so if you take the cosine of negative t, is that what we're using? Yes, OK. So if I get the cosine of a negative value, we know that that's going to be equal to the cosine of t. And the secant of a negative value, the same thing. That's going to be equal to secant of t. Now, let's go and take a look at the odd functions. Because if I take a look at a function and I say the sine of negative t, that's not going to equal the sine of t like it did for the evens. That's going to equal a negative sine of t. And that also works for the cosecant of negative value equals negative cosecant of negative t. As well, tangent is also negative. and well as cotangent. So it's important for you to understand that when we the difference between odd and even functions, graphically and also algebraically. And then also to notice that what trigonometric functions are odd or even, because if it's even, you know that the negative of, a, taking, the, of taking the function of a negative value, negative t, is going to still be the same as cosine t. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you understood. Hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, make sure you uh, comment down below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thanks.